Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the second part of the Red Bull Racing RB8 Sebastian Vettel version in 124th scale by Ravel. Now I'm starting here with the engine. The engine detail is rather limited in this kit but once you put the bodywork on you can't open it up again to look inside. This was the Renault RS27 V8 engine which was used at the time. The engine was also used by Williams, Lotus and Caterham in the 2012 season. I decided to glue all these parts together before priming and then painting them silver. Some other details could be added later on. The exhausts for either side are made up of two parts and they go together quite easily. There's a tab to fit them together and also where they line up it's quite easy to add some glue, like so. Now it's been painted silver and done some parts in semi-gloss black. The exhausts were also painted in silver and those go into either side fairly easily. make sure you get these around the right way so that the exhausts are pointing backwards when the uh, engine fits into place. Now the floor unfortunately is also moulded in this blue plastic. For some reason there are three sections on the underside which need to be added. This one here that goes in the centre of the plank and then two triangular sort of shapes on either side of the floor. Once these were glued in this was then primed in white and then painted matte black acrylic. The plank needed to be wood brown so I used some Revell acrylic and brushed that on. I wasn't too worried about leaving visible brush strokes as this is a piece of wood. Pretty happy with that. The decal quality with these Revell kits is really high. I cut this one in half though to make it fit in the box a bit better, but it comes with some really nice carbon fiber decals to go onto places like here on the floor. I first put down some micro set and then just let the decal soak in some warm water for about 20 seconds. Came off really well. Unfortunately, the decals don't cover all parts of the floor, so you may want to get some carbon fiber decals of your own to cover some other sections, which I did myself. Used a wet cotton bud here to try to rub away any of the air bubbles. Also used some UMP Strong decal solution to soften them, and when I felt that they were quite secure, I used a hairdryer on a low setting just to help them adhere as best as possible. Now these ones here are very long and I can see that they might be a little bit of a challenge to get in one place, so I cut them in half, did this smaller section at the front. This needs to be curved around the uh, bottom of the floor like so. And then afterwards I then did this long section, found this much easier. There's then a small oval carbon decal which goes here. Just behind those there's a vent which doesn't have a decal for, so I got some spare Aoshima carbon decals to go in that section. I've now added the engine and the two side pod intakes, those were painted matte black. And then there's some wiring which goes on either side. Most of that needs to be silver with some in matte black. That also connects to the engine. Found the joints for these really, really poor. So super glue was used in those cases. 
And then the top of the gearbox goes here, which extends back to the rear diffuser. So this was also done in matte black. All of the matte black sections and the carbon fiber were painted with some semi-gloss clear after the decals had cured, as were these other sections with carbon fiber decals on them, which go around the Coke bottle section here. Fitment of these was really good. I had no issues with this part of the build whatsoever. The rear suspension arms also have some really nice carbon fiber decals. And again, the fitment here was really good. And then the top of that Coke bottle section goes over like so. Finally, the other part of the rear suspension closes over the top and you push together on either side to get those wheel hubs in the right place. Looks pretty good if you ask me. The cockpit has molded seat belts, but I chose to go over the top with ribbons. The real car used these red Sabelt seat belts. So here is the two millimeter red ribbon and some spare photo etch. These were actually all leftovers. The ribbon seat belts are from a Belkitz rally car and these buckles are from a Hasegawa rally car. Thread that through. Find if you leave the buckles on the photo etch fret like this, you are much less likely to lose them. Pretty happy with that, and then used some super glue gel to put it into place. By not removing the original seat belts, it meant that I could see exactly where they needed to go. The only thing I did do was sand down the central buckle a little bit because it stuck up too much a little bit. Position these exactly to cover up the other ones. Use some shorter lengths here to cover up the lap belts. and another one with a small buckle on to cover up the one that goes in between the driver's legs. Finally, I used a small round photo etch buckle, which I had left over to act as the connector in the middle. Pretty happy with that. I think it's better than painting them. Finally, I needed to use some UMP extra strong decal solution for the Sabelt decals. Decals don't usually apply to uh, fabric very well. But as you can see here, I gave them a liberal soaking with the uh, decal solution. They went down nicely and I also added some decals for FIA and the racetrack on the uh, inside as well. Now for the inside of the nose here, it's painted in matte black. I added the pedals, which are in aluminium, and then there's some suspension sections like so. Make sure you get these right. These were all painted in matte black as well. And then once they were secured into place, I then added the carbon fiber decals. Again, started with micro set and then added the decals on top. Once I was happy that these had secured in place, I added, I used a little bit of the hairdryer on a low setting just to help them adhere the, to the shapes as best as possible. And once all of these had set really nicely, I left them for a day and then gave them a couple of coats of semi-gloss clear.
it's important to make sure that you remove any folds in these decals as that can really ruin the finish. And there we have it, that's all the mechanical detail for the back of the car. I also added the snorkel in semi-gloss black, and there's the seat belts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you soon.